always. Uh, you probably may have heard the comments in the background about the vibrating rollover. We've got to hope he uh, stops before he gets to our cable here, or it'll all go very, very quiet indeed. Alongside there, number 16, Dave Steer and Alan Marshall. Then number 134, Graham Hartley and Sean Ryan. 151 alongside them then. Local interest here for Mick Cameron and Paul Randall. Oh well, somebody's got some fans over there, that's good. Steve Schofield down the outside, Trevor Banks just ahead of him. Peter Lloyd, the Oxford Speedway man, and number 35, Phil Alderman, then from Cheshire. And Alex ridden a bit on the Irving Price, of course, who's had uh, a tremendous record on the British Grand Track scene. Rob himself has made uh, several European uh, finals. And he's uh, around the Using the inside line, you note in this session where he has the ability to choose whichever line he wishes, but he is staying to that uh, drier inside line. Holland, we of course have some finalists. We have Michael De Haas, we have John Boston, and Tony Forward. European grass track finals. And last weekend, we were very pleased, I'm sure all of us, uh, to see that Steve Schofield made it to the World Long Track Final. The first time I think he's made it to the final itself, and uh, we wish him the best of luck for that. As indeed we do, Bill James and Andrew Phillips, for their semi Start of 1988 Masters and it's Martin Hagen in the middle and Mike Beaumont right alongside him. In fact, it's Mike Beaumont who just inches into the lead as they come round the bend for the first time. So Phil Alderman just ahead of him in third place, Rob Price in fourth, Arthur Browning back in the battle for sixth place. Meanwhile then, Martin Hagen, the holder of the Masters Championship, looking as ever supremely confident. Will James coming up into contention now, Rob Price has dropped back to fifth place. And it looks like it's Phil Alderman just ahead of Ron Price. So then, it's Martin Hagen. And Ron Price has dropped back at another place. No, he hasn't on telling lies. He's stayed exactly where he is. Let's look across to the far side. It's Will James in the Hunter Customs uh, overall. Making a good start, Trevor Banks is there, but uh, as they charge towards the first bend, it was Vincent Kitchen who initially had the advantage, but has not back to second. Andrew Phillips and a red flag out. Red flag out for Vincent Kitchen. In Oxfordshire. Another Chester gentleman. The flags are out because of that fallen machine, but that should be cleared next time around. The riders have to hold position. So then it's number 20, Miles Evans, 14th place in last year's championship. So 
slow there now. Miles Evans now back to second place with Ron Fortune. Number 34, John Ramsey, just ahead of number 32, Ian Garner, and then tailing everybody, Perry Smith. Not quite, because the uh, Peter Reid is a long way back, must have had a problem. Meanwhile, then, the leader comes to victory number 24, Ron Fortune. Second place, number 16, Andy Riley. Behind him, number 34, John Ramsey. Number 32, And then number 37, Perry Smith. They're away. Now then, we look across to the far side. And uh, John Bostick making a good start. Looking for Trevor Bank. Now the red flags are out once again. Well, we have two fallen riders on the top bend. And, uh, Once again, that top bend has given us problems. The starter, make sure they're in. We are away. Ah, uh, it's back. Uh, Ken Lane elects the best to start. Jewison is sitting there. Behind Roger Peter for the internationals earlier on this year. And Jewison. Jewison looking for second place, but Dave Manning is hanging on to him. So it's Ken Lane now from Dave Manning with Steve Jewison in third place. And in fourth place as they pass us, it's Rob Wilson. Jewison looking for second place at Manning, desperately trying to hang on to it. Jewison comes through. Jewison looks as though he may make second this time. He does. It's Ken Lane from Stu Jewison from Dave Manning from Rob Wilson. Now, isn't Jewison able to do anything about it? Jewison is the end of the way. And Jewison powers away. When Lane tries to get away, he doesn't make it. Or does he on the approach to that bottom there? In fact, he does. It's Jewison from Ken Lane, but they're very, very close. Ken Lane now back to second. In third place, Dave Manning. In fourth place, Rob Wilson. And behind him, number one. Three, four, 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 four. Take the lead and pull the way from the second third. So it's Steve Jewison and Dave Ward win. Ken Lane and Barry Beckhoff in second place. In third place it looks to me as though Rob Wilson... They're away. We're looking for Hans. As we have an outfit in the side and... Uh, before Dean Steve Smith uh, jumps in. Trouble there and in fact it's Roger Beezer and uh, Dave Harris in the, in the fence. Uh, not looking... Terribly happy about that. Well, this Mike Baxter, Dave Steer, Mick Cameron and John Halsey. Those are the drivers. They're in line. They're away. Back, John Holt, he seems to have pulled away a little as we look 
across to the far side. We look to our right, and number 15 heads towards victory then for number 15, Alan and John Lewis. Uh, we have a nice uh, clear race of time here away. Uh, Trevor Banks making a good start and Andrew Phillips really going from first to last. He really dropped back on the... Uh Vincent Kinchin back there and a very unhappy Andrew Phillips tailing everybody. Well, he must have mechanical problems here, I would think. Meanwhile, then, Trevor Banks on the far side comes towards us. Trevor Banks is And uh, then uh, number six, Tony Forward. And uh, Andrew Phillips making up a bit of ground, but he's got a tremendous amount of work to do now. He really, uh, the bike was... So is Vincent Kitchen and it's uh, Alan Farmer who had to struggle to maintain second place but he's still there. So is Trevor Banks from Alan Farmer from Vincent Kitchen from Chittenave. Steve Schofield makes a good start, Jeremy Doncaster is right there with him and it's Doncaster on the inside, Schofield on the outside, but Schofield just on the wheel in front. plays alongside him, number 25, Paul Fry. So, out in front then, it's Paul Speedway man, Steve Schofield leading from Ipswich's Jeremy Doncaster. Oxford's Peter Lloyd in third place. Fortner. I could be Paul Fry in trouble down to our right. So then, we come around once again. Sixth place, number 33, Mark Seabright, just ahead, number 36, Wayne Broadhurst. Now they're coming around towards the four Just to Mark Seabright, Kevin Lapham and Richard Piggott. Way Mesa on the outside, looks for the lead and he gets it. It's Roger Mesa from Richard Piggott and tucked in behind Russell Lane. Richard Piggott and Russell Lane in there and Steve Smith in fourth place. So around the bottom band, Roger Mesa and Dave Harris. Tumble doesn't seem to have affected the form. Going to Burbage, there ahead of number 92, Richard Piggott and Tony Angelico in the chair. Third place leads to move to the ground, and they're challenging Roger Mesa as they go into the bottom bend. The challenge was on. And uh, he's done it again. Uh, he's got in front, so it's Richard Piggott then. Uh, Richard Piggott from Roger Mesa. Rob Russell in, so he's leading three of the Richard Piggott, number 92, Tony Angelico in the chair of the Essex team, leading the runners up in last year's Masters competition. Roger Visa and Dave Harris in second place, they close up on the bottom bend. Very, very tight indeed, but Richard Piggott from Roger Visa. Rob Russell in, from Billy Smith, from number 19, Gary Jackson. Richard Piggott seems to pull away on the bend. Roger Mesa closes right up. But uh, 
this time. Surely Richard Figgert's going to hang on to it. Number 92, Richard Figgert and Tony Angelico win. Roger Beasley and Dave Harris in second place. In third place, Russell Link and Chris Skipper. It's Hagen in the middle and Trevor Banks goes past him. So it's Trevor Banks from Martin Hagen as they head into the first bat. And they must say that to the Number 18 is young Mark Loram, so a lot of local interest in there. Well, that's Andy Riley in the fourth place. So let's look across to our left. And it's Hagen closing up on Trevor Banks. Hagen trying to long way. And it's Hagen challenging. Hagen tries to go up the inside. He doesn't quite make it. So it's Trevor Banks from Martin Hagen, and Hagen's going to try the outside again this time. So it's Martin Hagen. Trevor Banks is going to run as well. Trevor Banks from Martin Hagen. Martin Hagen is going to run as well. Martin Hagen is going to run as well. Trevor Banks establishes a length or two's advantage. Is it sufficient? Because Martin Hagen really challenges up the side, and Hagen comes again. Hagen comes after, and Banks is still there. And it's Trevor Banks who wins from Martin Hagen. They come into line, they're away, and Andrew Cook's making a better start, but still loses it away from the start line there and drops back. Meanwhile, they come towards us. Tucked in behind, number 31 in there, Alan Farmer. And it's Andrew Phillips in trouble again. So then we look across to the far side and Jeremy Doncaster. Then Arthur Browning, then Peter Lloyd. Fortune, the leading four, and Belmont uh, 
bit and passed by Vincent Kitchen there. Beaumont tries to strike back, but he doesn't make it. So it's Vincent Kitchen from Mike Beaumont, and it looks like uh, Steve Scope will try to come through the end. Vincent Kitchen with Mike Beaumont in the middle. Beaumont trying to come through the end. Vincent Kitchen, Mike Beaumont, Steve Scope, and Rob Fortune, Rob Price, and then Paul Fry. So across to the far side then. One well, eventful afternoon for Vincent Kitchen, one heavy tumble. Back in the action now you see. Then Mike Beaumont, then Paul Fry, then Rob Price, then John Boston. And uh, Paul Fry looking to find a way past Mike Beaumont. Mike will be wary of that one I'm sure. Meanwhile then, across to our left. Number We're away then. Race 12 gets underway. Looking for Dave Bang and Roger Mees to hit the front. But it's Roger Mees. Roger Mees. For the first time. And Manning is picture losing that second spot. Quite a challenge coming through there. And uh, Ken Lane slicing through into third place. Meanwhile, it's Roger Mees and Dave Harris with the advantage with Dave Manning and Peter Black on oh, hard after that. Meanwhile, Roger Mieser and Dave Harris come round towards us once again, leading this one from uh, Dave Manning, Peter Blank, and Ray Managed to get back in again in ground. Fourth place, but Ken Lane was under pressure there. Third, fourth, and fifth spot are very, very tight indeed. Meanwhile, then Roger Mieser comes towards us once again. Still leading it, Dave Manning in second place, Ken Lane in third, Joe Harley in fourth, and in fifth place, number 16. Once again, it's Roger Mieser and Dave Harris. Outfit number two who win in second place, Dave Manning and Peter Blank in second place, number 21. Third place, Ken Lane and Barry Metcalf just ahead of number one and three. Race 13 gets underway. And Jewison in the middle of it. Richard Piggott gets away. Richard Piggott from Steve Jewison in second starters. Dave Ward uh, challenging from the second spot, coming round the outside, having to move inside, but still Richard Piggott from Steve Jewison, by Cameron Hester, and in fourth place, number 24, Rob Wilson. But it's all about what's coming up front. Richard Piggott and Steve Jewison are at it. Jewison challenges again on the approach, that bend comes wide, he'll be very, very hard pressed to come right round the outside, and Piggott hangs on to the tight line, so it's Richard Piggott. Outside it's Jewison now having to come wide and Richard Pickett comes through again. Oh Jazzy Jewison from Richard Pickett from Mick Cameron and what a jewels on it. So Jewison hanging on to it over Richard Pickett, seated on the previous lap and hanging on to it. In fact, managed to pull away a little bit there. So then they come towards us and it's Steve Jewison and, and Pickett in trouble. Pickett in trouble. Mick Cameron collides with him and tips over. So Steve Gilson in first place, second place Rob Wilson, Richard Piggott in third, uh, Mick Cameron and Paul Randall put the line, race 14's away. And it's number 20, John Halsey making a tremendous start there. It's all battling for second place at the moment. Meanwhile, they come round towards us once again, and it's still John Holsey with the advantage. And coming through, it's Russell Makes the break into second place. Steve Smith in third. Just a little bit, but hangs on to third place. Meanwhile, then, across to our 
Kilroy, John Halsey and Tim Hodges bring the outfit round once again. So number 20, John and Tim Hodges with your marching over number 17, Russell Lane and Chris Skipper. from Vincent Kinchin. man in third place goes through to take second from the Midlander and Peter Lloyd fights back goes down the straight and takes his second place back from Ian Garner and puts him back to third place. Meanwhile, Jeremy Well ahead now of the Oxford Speedway man in second place Ian Garner in third that looks like Tim Fay in fourth and Tim Fay moves through to third place. There's Jeremy Doncaster, Peter Lloyd, and Tim Fay. Tim Garner, drop back a little. Looks like Paul Fry behind him. And Mike Beaumont in the dust. So Jeremy Doncaster is devastating. We're away. There's Andy Riley who's made the best start, but looks to me like it's Clayton Williams seeking for his second win of the afternoon. It's Clayton Williams with the advantage at the moment. Steve Schofield round the outside of the London So Clayton Williams and Steve Schofield moves magnificently into second place just around Peter Reid. So that it's Schofield in second place and Clayton Williams who leads. Clayton who wants to title, now he rides in the long track, hopefully he'll go well in that long track final this year. So it's Clayton Williams from Steve Schofield, and uh, Clayton Williams seemed to slow momentarily then, he's back on fire again, but it's Clayton Williams with Steve Schofield. 
looking as Gofield goes round the outside, Gofield goes for it, finds the way and it's Steve Gofield now who leads, Clayton Williams in second place, Andy Riley at the head of that three-way battle for third place, and uh, Clayton Williams... We look across to the far side and Rob Fortune makes a good start but it's Hagen who's making a better one coming around the outside and it's Martin Hagen. And Arthur Browning's in there as well. And uh, looks like Will James may be down on the far side. It's perfectly okay. Picks it up again. from Arthur Browning from Rob Price. Well, then Martin Hagen with this very much under control. Sixth place, number 36, Wayne Broadhurst, ahead of Andy Ron Hardy, Philip. And uh, then Will James. Just in sidecar situation is Steve Jewison on the 14, Roger Mesa and uh, John Halsey on 12. Those men making the... because Russelling and Chris Skipper will look for the gap and this time Russelling tries the outside because Steve Smith stays on the inside line. Will Smith, Russelling, Ken Lane, Mick Cameron, and Lappin. Around the water they come again, Steve Smith and John Mitten. This time the last lap flag and they managed to pull a little ahead of Russelling and Chris Skipper in second place. And Lane and Barry Metcalf in third. Once again, still at fit number 14 in Steve Smith and John Mitten who get the line first in second place, Russelling and Chris Skipper in number seven, Ken Lane and Barry Metcalf. Placement in for John Hiscock last time. Whoops, back you go, fellas. Second and third place man going out with both. Richard Pickett with the advantage of the moment. Wilson comes through now in head of Gary Jackson. So it's Rob Wilson from Gary Jackson. Watch 
three-way battle for this race. It's still Richard Pickett with the advantage at the moment. So it's Richard Pickett and Tony Angelico hanging on grimly as they go into the last lap. Still in the eye of it's Rob Wilson and Kevin Simmons. Side, but it's Richard Piggott hanging on and round the outside they come they're not going to make it surely so in fact it's Richard Piggott who wins it's Gary Jackson in second place and that last bend challenged by Rob Wilson only lost him well John Hiscock back in contention having missed one of his outings earlier on and the reserve came in there but back in now race 21 gets underway and it's Roger Mazur making a good start Dave Manning goes with it that it is, and Dave Manning back in third place, and in fact getting pushed back, because it's Dewison who's coming through. So it's Roger Mieser, Dewison in third place. It's Roger Mieser, so looking to find the way past John Halsey. Dewison through, John Halsey back to third place, so it's Dewison against Mieser. Well then, Roger Mieser and Dave Harris, Steve Dewison and Dave Ward. Two tremendously talented crews. John Halsey, Sean Hester, Price, behind him, number 88. Holders of the Masters last year, Steve Dewison and Dave Ward, holding them back into second place. One more lap to go this time around. It's Roger Mieser from Steve Dewison, from John Halsey. Appear to have a sufficient advantage to hold off Steve Dewison and Dave Ward. They come around the bend for the last time. Victory then for Roger Mieser. Steve Dewison in second place. Third place is going to go to John Walmsley. Just from number 88, Mike Baxter. The rose on the line for race 22. Paul Fry, John Boston, Wayne Broadhurst, Steve Garner, Neil Scopes, Mark Seabright, Vincent Kitchen and Martin Hagen. Ahead of him, John Boston leading this one. So then we look across to the far side and it's Martin Hagen sitting back in fourth place watching the uh, racing going on ahead of him. Wayne brought her. So then, John Boston having a good ride in this one. John Boston from Vincent Kitchen. 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 Nice clean start. Clayton Williams making another tremendous start. And it's Clayton Williams then leading this one as they come around. Rob Price battling for fourth and it's Andrew Phillips tailing the group of riders once again. So then we look across to the far side. Clayton Williams it is. Steve Schofield in second place, Mike Beaumont in third. Uh, Mike Beaumont in third. Fourth place, number 34, John Walmsley. And uh, Leighton Williams there, and Steve Schofield. Still Mike Beaumont in third place. Field 
do it in the same place. Well, not this time. Yes, he does. Sko is up alongside. Sko is away. It's Steve Schofield who steals a race once again from Clayton Williams. So, it's Steve Schofield there. Steve Schofield and Williams. Superbly here this afternoon, but look at Jeremy Doncaster. He eases his way through into second place ahead of Will James. So then, Trevor Banks. Then that number 20, Miles Evans. And Trevor Banks pulling a wheelie down the back straight. So Trevor Banks then from Will James, Peter Lloyd, Peter Reid, and number 20, Miles Evans. So, out on the far side of the circuit, it's Trevor Banks and uh, Jamie Doncaster. Trevor Banks then, Jamie Lloyd, Peter Reid, and Miles Evans. Here we go then, race 25 off the line. They are away. Mike Tim Fay making the rest of the car. Come through to overtake Tim Fay. Rob Fortune sitting in third place. So then, I just went out. Oxford Speedway rider. through the dust. Thank you. 
and uh, Barry Metcalf. Ken Lane and Barry Metcalf as they head the field into the last lap. Alan and Charles Lowen in back up play. Joe Manning and Peter Frank third. in number 88, Mike Baxter and Danny Sully. Ken Lane and Barry Metcalf who head for the checker flag. There they are. Alan Joe Blewett in second place. In third place, Dave Manning and... They're away, they head towards us. Who's going to make the best of the start? And it's John Holdfield, Rocky Duane, Steve Smith and Roger Meeser back in third place. Meeser looking for second place. So John Holdfield from Roger Meeser from Steve Smith. Smith and Steve Smith looks for the lead. It's Smith down the outside, but Holsey is still there. John Holsey and Roger Meza takes the pair of them. And Steve Smith joins in the fun. So it's Roger Meza and Steve Smith, but they come very, very wide. And John Holsey is back in front. Roger Meza in second place. Steve Smith is third. And really, it's perfect. They lost all the ground they get. Meanwhile, so it's John Holsey still in front. Roger Meza nibbling away at his back wheel. Steve Smith. Smith round the outside, Miser on the inside, so Miser gets the inside line, John Holsey comes out and cuts off to Smith, and number 17 rustling is quite amazed by the whole experience. So there, the tremendous sidecar race, so it's Roger Miser and Dave Harris who uh, have now pulled away from what's become a battle for second place instead of a battle for first place. John Holsey is there, but Steve Smith's going to try the outside of him again, so... John Halsey is hanged on, Steve Smith is getting close to losing his third place to uh, Russell Ames. Oh, exactly. On the far side, we look across, and it's Roger Beezer and Dave Harris. Under control is Steve Smith, who's finally got in second place, John Halsey in third, and Russell Ames in fourth. Victory then for Roger Beezer, number two. Steve Smith in second place, John Halsey in third. And rustling in fourth. Get away. McCameron making a good start from the middle of the grid. It's McCameron looking for all the force. Working his way through. There's a tremendous battle going on up ahead of him. So then, the leader comes towards us for the first time. And it's number 19, Gary Jackson leading the Richard Wigan and Steve Jewison. second place, so it's Richard Pickett now in third place. Gary Jackson going very, very wide and losing the arm to the second place last season. And then Richard Pickett. They come back again in Steve Dewison closing right up on Gary Jackson. And Dewison is on the inside, Jackson on the outside. making another good start. What good start he's been making this afternoon. Trevor Banks is right there with him, but it's Jeremy Doncamp. That's Mike Beaumont, then Will James, and, well, look at this. Jeremy Doncamp with the Ipswich and England Speedway and really flying. Trevor Banks comes down the outside of Clayton Williams. Clayton Williams now back in third. Trevor Banks in second. And Jeremy Doncamp. close together. So we look across to the far side. Will James coming up into contention there. Sitting at the moment in the Will James Smith, that's in five. Then number 27, Vincent Kitchen. 
So we look across to the far side and Jeremy Doncaster now. And Clayton Williams is challenging for that third place. He didn't take Mike Bowman taking that. between Clayton Williams and Mike Beaumont, then Will James, then Tim Fay, and then Vincent Kitchen. They're away, it's Hagen. John Boston is right there with him, and Steve Schofield is alongside the pair of them. So it's Martin Hagen from John Boston from Steve Schofield, and that looks like Rob Fortune. So then, looking across to the far side, so it's John Brostin really riding superbly here. And Steve Schofield makes his challenge, he pulls away from Martin Hagen, and it's Schofield looking to go round the outside. Steve Schofield looking to go round the outside. Martin Hagen in third, Rob Fortune in fourth, and Andy Riley. A superb ride there on that far bend by Steve Schofield. So then, Steve Schofield leading this. Then Miles Evans, and then Peter Lloyd. Rob Fortune in fourth, and Andy Riley. Metcalf, Alan and John Blewett, Mick Baxter and Danny Tully, Gary Jackson and Ian Harris. They're on the line, they are away, the first of the sidecar, semi-files, with a bit of front hanger, they're away, but out of their head of things, it's number 15, it's the Blewett, it's the first best, but they're being very small, the leaders will look across, but they get the drive, and uh, young John Blewett doing a superb job for his father, so it's the two Blewett who are leading as they come round towards us once again, we're looking for Steve Jewison, and Blewett comes wide, and up through the inside comes the radiator, and it's Jewison who comes through, Blewett's in trouble. He sets up and all of a sudden he seems to lose drive. And it's Steve Jewison who had the advantage, but they're back on song. So it's Steve Jewison at day four. Blewett's in second place. In third place, it's Mick Marshall's trying to catch their breath on the bend to our right because they had an exciting experience with Mick Baxter. Meanwhile, as Steve Jewison it is. Mick Baxter up in a second place. Jewison Blue in the front. They seem to lose all the speed they have. We look through the dust to our right as the checkered flag is prepared. It's Steve Jewison and Dave Ward who take first place. Second place across the flag, Mick Baxter and Danny Tully. Third place, number 15, Alan and John Lee. They're away. Mieser on the inside. And Steve Smith in the middle. And Dave Manning goes with him. It's Roger Mieser and Dave Manning. And in fact, it's Steve Smith pressing hard as he goes after Roger Mieser. So, Roger Mieser with Steve Smith on his heels as they come around Hilton Woodrow the Clark and of course for the first time. So then, Roger Mieser, Steve Smith, Dave Manning, and Mick Cameron. Steve Smith and John Mitten and it's a tremendous battle going on. Dave Manning and Peter Blank in third place, in fourth place is Mick Cameron and Paul Ramble. Come in behind there, number 20, John. Dave Harris inching their way, it seems, away now from Steve Smith and John Mitten. They seem to have established an extra length of advantage on that last lap. That's the way they go into the last lap, Steve Smith. Second place, and it's Manning, but the leader is Roger Mieser. So, Roger Mieser then, and Dave Harris. 
coming around to greet the checkered flag and it's Roger Beezer and Dave Harris who win Steve Smith and John Benton in second place Dave Manning and Peter Blank in third in fourth place Mick Cameron and Peter Randall and behind them Tim Fay, Vincent Kinchin, Andy Riley, Miles Evans, Peter Lloyd and Alan Farmer and Vincent Kinchin make a good start but Will James uh, makes a better one and it's Will James with Vincent Kinchin on his elbow as they come round towards us Holds the advantage, so it's Vincent Kinchin from Will James, from Alan Farmer as we have across to the far side. over Will Jones, Andy Riley comes up into third place, so it's Andy Riley, the Cheshire gamekeeper, making the move up into third place, but ahead of him is Will James and the leader, Vincent Kitchen, and this time around it's the last pass flag. Will James behind it, then Andy Riley, then number 31, Alan Farmer. Alan Farmer seeming to be dropping back a little bit at the moment and Tim Fay coming through to take fourth place when Alan Farmer fights back. So then, number 27, Vincent Kitchen with the advantage. Then Alan Farmer, then Tim Fay. Race 34, everybody getting very anxious down there. by Cameron on the inside, but not making the best on the side. Yeah. Yeah. So then, round they come towards us for the first time. And on the inside, number 24, Rob Wilson, and then on number 19, Gary Jackson. under pressure as they come round towards us. Rob Wilson it was who was leading, but it's Gary Jackson working away. Rob Wilson from Gary Jackson from number 20, John Halsey. Gary Jackson who inches ahead is Gary Jackson then from Rob Wilson from the camera. Gary Jackson with a big overtake. That's number 19, Gary Jackson, Ian Harris from Cheshire. Pulled away. Well, we've established a length or two over number 24, Rob Wilson, and that's the way it's gonna say. In third place is Mick Cameron, and in fourth place, number 20, John Hull. Versus Steve Schofield, versus John Boston, versus Martin Hagen, versus Mike Beaumont, Clayton Williams and Rob Fortune in their away. And it's Banks who makes a tremendous start. Boston is close behind him, but it's uh, Trevor Banks from, from John Boston, from Steve Schofield, from Rob Fortune. from John Boston as they go around and Martin Hagen is back in the pack and looking for a way through. It's Hagen back in fifth place and Clayton Williams just behind him and Clayton Williams looking for that fifth place. So then we look for the Then Rob Fortune, then Martin Hagen, then Clayton Williams, and then Mike Beaumont, and then John Boston, who's dropped right back out of the action. He must be in trouble. So then, it's Trevor Banks from Steve Schofield, from Jeremy Doncaster. Martin Hagen goes back to third in sixth place in Clayton Williams. So it's Trevor Banks from Steve Schofield, from Jeremy Doncaster, as they have their last lap. Are we going to see a change here? Can there possibly be a change? Show the bank then! Jeremy Doncaster in third, Martin Hagen in fourth, Rob Fortune in fifth, in sixth place, Clayton Williams, and in seventh place, Mike.
Mike Beaumont. And in eighth place, John Boston. Victory to number two, Trevor Banks. In second place, number eight, Steve Schofield. In third place, number 21, Jeremy Doncaster. In fourth place, number one. In fifth place, number 24, Rob Fortune. Well done, Trevor Podium, for the presentations. As they get underway, we race 36, the bike car, A final. Number 15, it's Alan Blue, making it from Panda Star to but it's Alan and John Blewett, they're going to put, we have red flags out, we have a collision on the bottom band, hands go up. We have, uh, Fitz are brought back to the sidecar start, see if uh, a racing rival, a friendly racing rival at his dad has uh, being brought into the starting gate, they are away. Really making a charge comes through inside of Roger Mesa and that was very very tight indeed. So it's number 88, Mike Baxter and Dan for Roger Mesa and Dave Harris. So then, number 88, Mike Baxter and Danny Tully from Bromley. Really going superbly, but they're back to second place. It's Roger Mesa and Dave Harris in front and hanging on desperately to that inside line. So it's Roger Mesa and Dave Harris. Indeed, number 88 looks to be in trouble. Mike Baxter and Danny Tully going backwards just a bit, just a little bit, because Steve Smith and John Mitten looking for second place. Steve Smith and John Mitten can do in the second place ahead of Mike Baxter and Danny Tully. Checker flag will be out and it's really all about the battle for second place now because Roger Mesa and Dave Harris have got this under control. So it's Roger Mesa and Dave Harris. Steve Smith in trouble. Smith in trouble. Number 88, Mike Baxter, Danny Tully in second place. And in third place, Anthony Russell. And at the end of the day, that winner is stood alongside, well, in fact, all three winners are stood alongside us, but in particular when we talk about, in this case, first of all, we do the solos. If we can call on Mr. Bill Rawlinson to present the trophy. Hello, it's Mrs. Penfold's going to do it by the looks of things. It's a joint operation here to Trevor Banks, ladies and gentlemen. Trevor, just a, a few words. You and I always have a little joke when we meet up on the top because I always pull his leg and say he's usually second or third but not on the top. Today, once again, it went well, Trevor. Hard days racing, but uh, my congratulations. Have you enjoyed your racing? Yeah, but I mean, today the track was a bit wet at the beginning and I thought, well, Jesus, it's going to be terrible to ride here today. But it's dried out and, you know, towards the end the track was really good to race. Um, I was using a uh, Godden engine today, which was going really well. Um, I can't really say anything more. Um, you have to make the start because of the dust in, uh, in the final. And I made the start and, and it was okay, it was good. Well, that's nice for our sponsor to have uh, his motor winning the event, Trevor. Trevor, I know it's a little way away and perhaps it's a bit brave. What about, uh, you think, the, the second round? Well, you can't really say. But the problem is with the, the British Masters, you're always getting people that are not here today that turn up at the second round. and. You can, you know, perhaps I might meet Simon Wig or, or, um, or what's his name, uh, uh, Chris Morton. I might meet Chris Morton and uh, he'll take points off of me, where someone like Martin might only meet them once. And, and this is a problem with the British Masters. We, we, you can never tell what's going to happen. Well, we'd like to think that, in fact, that situation there. Uh, may be able to do something about it, but we'll see. Trevor, a great day's racing. Our congratulations. Best wishes for the rest of the season. Ladies and gentlemen, Trevor Banks, the winners of the first round of the Masters. Well, uh, Norman Penfold 
is uh, going to do the honours when it comes to... And Roger Meese has got a big smile on his face, so watch your step. <laughs> the side guard, tremendous result, fellas. Well done. Roger Meese and Dave Harris winning the first round of the Masters. And it's nice, in fact, to see that coming over and looking slightly bewildered, but nonetheless, we've got the second and third place man over here, Steve Schofield and Jeremy Doncaster. So let's hear it for them as well, the top three solo man. Fellas, let's talk to the side guard crews, and perhaps we can get all five of them up on the wagon when they do the lap of honour. Roger, a hard day, I thought. You started off well by bouncing off the fence, but um, they kept you busy. Yes, very busy. Everybody's going exceedingly quick this year, um, as I say every year. Uh, we've got a problem at the moment. We've got a young man in man's engine and old men driving it at the moment. Uh, if we can get sort of fitter, I think we can sort of keep up with them, I hope. But, uh, Start the marathon training shortly then, do you? Well, that's right. I'm going, down to da I'm going to run down to Dave's house and he's going to run up to mine. <laughs> Dave, it was a hard day's racing, wasn't it? I think really today it was as close as we've seen for a little while. How was it from a passenger's point of view? Very good. I felt sorry for Steve in the final because he, although we beat him in the heat earlier, he, we'd have had our work cut out to pass him in that race. But it's nice to win again. It is indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, Roger Major and Dave Harris, winners of the sidecar category of the first round of the Masters. Right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Then, uh, Jerry Doncaster, Steve Schofield, Trevor Banks, and the winners of the sidecar. <laughs> he wants to lift up. <laughs> oh, well done. Just don't sit on the cable because otherwise I'll have to run around the, the track behind you. <laughs> there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the top three in the solo competition. Jeremy Doncaster, Steve Schofield, and Trevor Banks. And in the sidecar category, the winners... Roger Meeser and Dave Harris. Off you go, fellas. Let's hear one last cheer. Great racing, fellas. Great racing. We look forward to some more of the same. There you go. There you go. Up you go. Alan and John Blewett joining in as well. Well done, fellas. Well, congratulations again to Jerry Doncaster, Steve Schofield, and the winner of the solo, Trevor Banks. And in the sidecar to Alan and John Blewett.